Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a new camera that I'm pretty excited about. Um, used it for the first three videos that I've done this year. And I think I'm finally getting the, the learning curve honed in. Um, part of the reason that you haven't seen a lot of videos between mid-December and mid-January trying to learn the new camera process and what goes along with it so now it's it's coming along and I hope that uh, hope that the videos are a little bit better a little better to see I am doing uh, the overhead view again because when I don't do the overhead view, I tend to, to get out of frame. So I think I'm gonna stick with this for a while so I can keep everything within uh, the camera frame. So especially for, for learners that, that uh, like to see it all, they, uh, it's hard to it's hard to follow along when I get out of camera. So hopefully this will help staying in this. Even when I pull, sometimes when I pull it up closer to me, I tend to get out of frame when I use a different angle. But when I pull it up close at this angle, I think I can stay in stay in view pretty well. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, make some center lines. Um, this is a piece of basswood, one and a half by one and a half, by four inches tall. And if you've watched some of my videos in the past, you know that a lot of times I don't I don't put a lot of lines on my on my carvings and it's just something that I don't know I don't don't like to do as much because I like to just look at the piece of wood and and see it in my mind and carve it that's just what I prefer but anyway for those that that like to learn, they like to see where I am, and these lines I know help for those that uh, beginners. And I say beginners, but I'm a beginner myself. So we uh, we're going to start with the head. The head's going to be about on the front. On the face, it'll be about an inch and a half in the front on the face. So let's make an inch and a half line there. And on the back, Let's go to inch and a quarter so it tapers it tapers up in the back. I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So here's the front and here's the back and my line is here on the front and my line is here on the back so we're going to going to go at a bit of an angle for the shape of the head bit of an angle and so that I don't get lost at where I am I'm going to draw two big eyeballs on the face and the feet, since this is a four inch piece, let's do a about five eighths, which is about a finger's width. Let's 
Okay. And that's where I'm going to start. Let's uh, let's just notch these feet there. Do a stop cut, cut down to the feet on the corner. And you don't have to take this whole chunk out at a time. You can come from the side and do it a little bit at a time. So you can notch it out. See how I've notched out part. Slide your knife across there. And just do little bits at a time. It's easier to do it that way if you're just starting out. We're going to try to go about oh, about a quarter inch deep. At the feet. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's uh, let's do the face corner on the head. Let's do a V cut. We did a stop cut at the feet. We're going to do a V cut on the head. And let me stop there just a second. About I haven't talked about V cuts a whole lot. Learning a, a good V cut. Is important especially when you get into the tight spaces around noses around eyes around eyebrows and things like that you can take a piece of one by one and just practice V cuts practice because when I when I first started I did not get the same knife angles back and forth to get a good V cut and I would end up having to cut it several times and then sometimes it would I get more than I wanted sometimes I wouldn't get enough and I'd have to make extra cuts so if you get one good V cut let's go on down a little further one good cut and turn your knife I've got a thick blade there You'll get a better if you get that same angle you're going to get a better v cut each time but that's what uh, that practice if you want to practice on a cut see my knife how it's angled at about a 45 and we'll come back at a 45. when i first started i did not angle my knife the same way coming in each direction and it caused me problems so if you want to reduce your problems when it comes to your v cuts then remember those knife angles are very important very important so let's go back to the head That was the face. And let's go back to the back.
and now we're going to as we did the feet going across we're going to connect and again you can do it all at once you can do it a little at a time usually I prefer if I'm using a, a larger block this is an inch and a half so anything bigger than an inch I go ahead and use smaller cuts to get across there Now we'll go to the side. And we're just establishing the head. I hope the that background noise is not too awful distracting. My first few videos of the year, I think my new camera picks up picks up that background noise a little worse than than my other camera did, but some of you know that I'm in my garage and it is winter time so I have heaters going and but the noise you hear right now because it is a warmer day today the noise you hear not right now is a an old RCA refrigerator that's in my garage Yes, RCA. I don't even know if they ever make refrigerators anymore, do they? But anyway, it's been here a long time, and it's it's been a good one. It's still alive and kicking. But it's noisy. Maybe I'll show it to you. So there we go. We've got about a quarter inch deep around the head, quarter inch deep at the feet. Now what we're going to do is take off corners. And we'll go around the body as well.
and as you take off those corners you're going to round those corners and your definition for your head you're going to lose some of that so you may have to take more out as you go just check the face Okay, let's let's work on that chest a little bit too. The chest is still big here. We're going to leave him some belly down here, but I, I think what I'm going to do is cross his arms in front. So we'll not take a lot of it off because we want the arms to come across the front and then have some belly underneath. So we'll just take, we'll just kind of round that chest off a little bit. That's a little better. All right, let's go midway point on our feet too and separate those feet. And we're just getting a good start with them. By no means close to being finished with the feet. Take off those corners. Okay, so let's let's come back and put her put her lines back in midway point. Okay. All right, guys, so you see how is the head is still the same size as the body. So let's uh let's start going around the head. And taking off the head, make it smaller.
Okay. See the back there? How thick that is. Let's take some of that upper back off. While we're taking the trimming it down, a little bit of the shoulders down too. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, um, and what I'm talking about now is what I'm going to do with his arms, um, you've seen I've crossed across arms sometimes with my my little folks, my little characters. Um, this is the the frog on a rock. This is the sports fan. All got their arms crossed a little bit. Big frog. So that's what we're going to attempt with this with this little guy. So I'm gonna draw these in and then we'll I'll come back. So let's take Let's keep that center line and on his face here. Just angle it back a little bit on both sides. Get rid of the flatness on his face. round it off a little bit <clears throat> now you can see his arms that I've drawn in here and they're kind of rough right now so kind of splitting the difference on the center line the arms or the starting point is going to be Splitting the difference. Same thing on this side. So your center line goes through the middle of the arm at the starting point. And then you're going to come forward. Give him some elbows. And the top one's going to come up and around, up and on top and under. And this one's going to go under the other arm and under. So we'll get to that shortly. <clears throat> but the first thing. That we're going to do with his with his arms is uh, on these inside elbows. We're going to take that out. So we're going to make a deep, deep cut coming to that corner there. On both of them trying to get as deep as you can get on this first cut so you don't have to make several cuts When you have to make several cuts is when you your wood starts to fray inside there a little bit. And 
and then we'll come across the top on that top line Got a little knot there in the wood. Hopefully, I can get it out of here here in a second. And the arms are going to be square right now, so don't worry about that. We'll get to that later. And get deep in that corner. And start to take off underneath the neck. Flatten out that chest area a little bit. Cut deep. take out on the outside of his arms Same thing on the other side. And these are rough arms right now too, so we can we can doctor them up as we as we go. We just want to set them in, set the arms in right now, so we can see where they are and what we need to do with them. Okay, so you see where we've, <coughs> excuse me, the arms are going to cross here. So this arm's going under the top arm. So we're going to make a little cut, not too deep, not as deep. just going to cut 
cut that out. Not too deep yet. starting to look like a little something now underneath the arms needs to be taken out quite a bit I'm going deep in the back of the arms too. Okay, so let's take, remember, going under the arm on the right, which is his left arm, is going to go under. So you see the difference there. Hope you can, yeah. Where it goes underneath. So we need to deepen, deepen that up a little bit. And all those flat spots, we want to start to try to get rid of those flatty spots. On the sides.
<clears throat> okay. Well, let's uh, let's go up to the top. Change gears here a minute. And take that top edge off of his head all the way around. I want to get a better look at it and see what we want to do with it. It's just still a little bit too thick. I'm going to try to flatten it out a little bit. Let's take some more off of this back. It's very chunky looking. Get a big knife. Okay, so I've got nose, mouth drawn in, and the spot for the ears, and we're going to put the the legs back in and the back side again in a little butt area, and let's uh, let's start out by taking off a lot of these feet. They're still way too big. 
gonna cut about half of the almost half of the chew back. Let's go, let's get part of his pant leg in here too. Okay guys, so one thing I did before I went and cooked pork chops was I had put the ears in and I didn't like the way the face looked so I've I've taken that face back off and just cut it back. Cut it back some. So we're gonna redo that face. Um, but one one thing I want to do before we even do that is I want to I want to take more out back here on the back side of his legs didn't like the way that that looked either so we're gonna give him a more pronounced area back here with the backs of his legs take some of that butt out of there too
But one thing I was trying to do for this year, one of my goals is to is to talk during the videos. Talk more for those, especially for those of you that are learning and like to know exactly what I'm doing or what I've got in mind as I carve. So that is one of the goals for this year. Now let's let's divide those feet again. See if we can make this look a little better. That's a little bit better on the back side. Still need to take some of that back out though. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to cut back these feet a little bit farther too. Alright folks, so I've drawn his new face on there. A little crooked smile. And I've got his pants coming over his shoes saggy pants so we're going to work on on those put a little V cut in here thumb guard and then what I'm going to do here is we're just going to go across his toe on the line and we're going to cut from the front back to that little stop cut Doesn't have to be too deep on the top of his foot. Careful not to cut off his pant leg.
while we're here, we'll put a little V cut on his sole of the shoe. And the best way to do it here is slit, see how I slide that knife instead of just cut right into it. That way you don't you have a better chance of not cutting off that sole and having to start all over. And it's always best to cut away from the bottom first and then cut into it. That's all you need is just a barely a sixteenth of an inch, probably not even that. Okay. All right, let's go on and cut this nose in. Found a spot I didn't like. Cut that nose in. Follow your line back down. Up to the eye socket.
All right, so we've got him some some bibs drawn on there, and just a little beanie cap, a little boggin. So we're gonna do little stop cuts up to that little beanie. All right, we'll put some pockets in here. All right. We'll take these out from the outer side as well.
So I'll drill my little mustache in there. I may end up cutting it off and I may paint it on there. I think I made him into a little wine farmer. Maybe. Maybe I'll put a little crease up here in the top of his little English hat. Turn it into an English hat instead of a little beanie. But just a little V cut in here just to see how we can get it to turn out. <clears throat> all right guys there he is all finished up hope you can see him okay Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate those. We'll see you on the next one. Come here.